Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Tonight I am smoking my Savinelli 320 2017 St. Nicholas. And in it, I'm smoking some Germain's Dark Rich Flake. Had to have one more bowl of this. I couldn't couldn't put it away without having at least one more bowl. So good. So I was watching Paladin's video of his favorite states that he'd smoked his pipe in. And it got me to thinking about my favorite places I've smoked my pipe. And I definitely have three favorite places that I've ever smoked my pipe. Besides here on the on the on the onion patch. And uh Number one, without a doubt, hands down, was in Greenville, South Carolina. And it was about five years ago. I was doing 22 states. In eight weeks. And we were in Greenville, South Carolina for, we had to stay there for a little while because we, we were visiting several places around Greenville. So we wound up staying in Greenville for a week, week and a half or so. And we would make that our home base. We'd go out from there. And uh, it was hot, man. It was hot when we were there. It was hot. But it wasn't too muggy. It was a really dry heat while we were there. It wasn't real muggy. But it was hot. It was like, you know, during the day it was 110, 112. It was hot. But at night... I'd come home and I'd take a shower and I'd go out on the back patio and the cicadas were just going nuts out there, man. It was just awesome. The cicadas were just coming in waves. The cicadas would just come in waves. It was, God, it was just the coolest sound and I'd never heard cicadas before, you know. So that was just awesome for me. At this place we were staying had this really neat backyard with lots of trees and it was a huge backyard and so I'd just sit on that patio and or that deck, light my pipe up and listen to the cicadas. And there were birds singing and the cicadas chirping and the moon was it was a full moon and God it was just the perfect setting for smoking a pipe and it was just God, I'll never forget that as long as I live it was just the most relaxing peaceful perfect place to smoke a pipe it was like 80 degrees at night you know it was just just a, a perfect setting for sitting out smoking a pipe I'll never forget that that was just God it was just the perfect place for me just the peacefulness, the cicadas. I'll never forget the cicadas. I have video of it on Facebook. 
sitting out there and just just so cool and in the second one was in Spokane, Washington. And I was at my buddy Shannon Coberly's house. Shannon makes my guitars and amplifiers. And I was coming home from playing at Sturgis and I went, had stopped in Montana and seen family. And then I stopped at Shannon's on the way home because he was, you know, was real close to Montana. And and I was sitting on Shannon's back patio. Shannon has this beautiful, beautiful house, beautiful land with woods behind his house. And so we were sitting on his back patio, beautiful night. Had a fire in the fire pit. And we're just looking into the woods. And the fire was going and, and Shannon and I are just sitting and talking. And he's smoking a cigar and I'm smoking a pipe. And Shannon has this very soft-spoken manner about him. He's a very soft-spoken guy and just... very calming when he talks. And it just, everything was so calming about that night and I just felt all of this stress is just coming off of me, you know, sitting there with him and talking and... There was another one of those nature things where you're just sitting with nature. You know, there's birds and just the noises of nature. You could hear the animals in the in the woods moving around and the fire crackling. And we were just talking back and forth and it was just such a peaceful night and and I'll always remember that as long as I live. I'll remember that night as just being one of the, the best nights of my life. And so that was number two. And then number three was actually one of the years that I played in Sturgis. And we were Everything was shut down. It had started raining. It was pouring rain. They had shut down the the uh, stages. There was lightning and thunder and pouring rain. So they had shut down all the stages. Our stage was shut down. All the lights were off. Everybody was gone. The place was deserted. stage was completely dark. And it was me, Mark Mason, he's a guitar player from Virginia, and Scott Hazen, he's a drummer from Florida. And we all got little stools, we pulled them out to the middle of the darkened stage. We sat around in a circle and we all smoked our pipes. And we just laughed and talked and laughed and just had so much fun that night. It was like one o'clock in the morning. And we just had such a blast. And so much fun.
I mean, the three of us had, you know, over the years we we had jammed together many, many times and at Daytona Bike Week and Sturgis and I think Scott and I had played in Kansas a couple times and I just stayed at Scott's house in Florida when we had played in Florida and I used Scott many times and as my drummer when I was in would go to Florida and play he would I would get him to be my drummer in Florida and a uh, great drummer God, he's a great drummer Blues Hall of Famer great drummer but man, we sat on that stage for hours and just laughed and made fun of each other and <laughs> we just had a blast. And that was one of the most fun times I've ever had smoking a pipe. The other times were really relaxing, relaxing times smoking a pipe. But that time was the most fun time I ever had smoking a pipe. I was just sitting on the stage in Sturgis in the complete darkness with those two guys just smoking pipes and just laughing and just I mean to the point where we were crying I was crying I don't know if the other guys were but I was just crying and from laughing so hard and Mark Mason he's a he's the father of Matt Mason a pop star Well, I don't know if you want to say pop star, but the alter alternate rock star, alt rock star, Matt Mason. So I got to hang out with Matt Mason before he was, when he was still a kid, <laughs> many times. But... And, uh, but man, I had fun that night. That was just a fun, fun night. Just hanging with those guys and laughing and smoking our pipes. And good guys. So those were the three best nights I ever had smoking my pipe. And, uh, I've had a lot of good nights here. I've had some really good nights up at my nephew's houses, sitting around a camp a bonfire smoking pipes with them too. But those three nights in particular were the three best nights I ever had smoking a pipe. So. Good times. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'd like to hear your best times smoking a pipe. Do a VR or make your own videos or put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Talk to you guys later. God bless.